Hi there, this could be my last um, video on the uh, Geoptics, this is number four. And really this time I'm going to just look at focusing really, because I found this really difficult when I started. Because at the moment I have uh, about three lakeside focuses. So my telescopes are autofocus and, and I train them and then they focus automatically for me uh, on stars before I image what I'm going to image. And they're very quick and easy to use. But when I went back to using manual focus on this lens um, to do this, Obviously, there's no way of doing a setting up an automatic focuser unless you're an engineer and sort of design something. Um, so, what could I use? Well, I found online um, Telescope Service make um, this product called Telefocus with a K, focus with a K, um, and they do it in three different diameter sizes um, to fit on your camera, uh, depending on um, how big your lens uh, diameter is. So I bought one, I ordered one, and here it is really. Uh, now what it is, it's kind of three, it's, it's a set of two rings um, that attach to your camera lens. Um, and then what you do is you fix one and then you turn with these larger thumb screws uh, on the focusing ring to, to, to have a fine focus. And it works very well. Um, it has, it's, it's improved my focusing no end when it comes to um, focusing on these, on these images, especially when you go into 200mm. It's, it's not so bad at 100mm, but when you zoom into 200 then obviously focus is really important. Um, now you may see here I've got a piece of wood on this, and <laughs> this was a little DIY thing I did, because when, when you first buy it, it only comes with a very short block. So this block normally would screw into here. I hope you can see that. And then this uh, ring would be about here. And the problem is, that's great if you've got the kind of more expensive cameras um, that don't uh, move out when you uh, zoom in like that. Some of them are just fixed. Um, but the problem is mine moves. So I've got to find a, a place um, where my focus is, but I can also grip. I've got to find a place that doesn't, so you see that that whole part moves. So I was kind of gripping on here and then attaching it there. So what I did, I was going to try and, um, some, some metal. And the actual sort of diameter of this metal is actually like a door handle spindle size. So I started looking at door handle spindles um, and, and drilling through those, the centre of those to attach it. But I found drilling through the end of a, a door handle spindle quite difficult if you haven't got the proper machinery. So in the end I found a square piece of wooden doweling and I basically just put a screw, quite a very long screw, through the middle of that. Um, and then I just kind of packed it out. And so I can get a longer length on here, um, which I needed. So what you do, in this instance, is you would uh, take this and put it all the way to the end, where a piece on the lens where it doesn't move. And then all you do is, you use the thumb screws on here to tighten it. And then where your focus ring is, just tighten it on those, on that section as well. So it's nice and tight. And then what you're just going to basically do is gradually you're going to just move this, loosen one and tighten up the other, and you can get a really fine focus on it. Obviously if you want to then move the um, lens, you could just loosen this off and just twist it. Um, but that was around um, £50, I think, yeah, um, and that is, has been really useful, and I use it all the time now, so if you have a problem focusing um, using a camera lens, um, you're doing kind of deep uh, wide field imaging or deep sky, then I, I think it's a really good thing to buy. Um, obviously, you could also use it if you just had your normal SLR on the back as well. So for people for who aren't you having their CCDs and the G-Optics on the back, it's, it's really useful for that if you want to do some fine, fine focusing. That's it for now.